Hello everyone, welcome to a mathematical STEM box. My name is Angus McAndrew. I am a researcher and a lecturer here at the Mathematical Sciences Institute at the Australian National University. The puzzle that I want to show you now is something called the jugs puzzle. Now, I don't have any jugs with me, but I have some paper cups and I have some marbles. You can use whatever you like for this, as long as you have objects that you can maybe label and put things inside them. How does this puzzle work? Imagine that I had two weirdly shaped jugs. They didn't have any nice markings on the side or anything, but I knew how big they were. Let's say one could hold five liters. So to do that, I'm gonna write a five on this paper cup very badly. There you go, there's a five. And let's say this one can hold seven. Again, a five and a seven, there we go. So these are jugs, let's say it's a five liter jug and a seven liter jug. The puzzle is this. Is it possible to exactly measure out one liter of water using just these two jugs? How would you do something like that? Now, as I say, I don't actually have jugs of the right size. I also don't have a bunch of water to play around with. It gets a bit messy. So here's how you can simulate it. Here's how you can model that puzzle. You take your two jugs and I'm gonna take a bunch of marbles. Each one is going to represent one liter of water. So for instance, I could do the following. I could take a bunch of water and pour it into this, oopsie. I could pour it into this jug. So I've got seven liters of water in the jug because it's a seven liter jug. Then what can I do? Well, I have this five liter jug here, so I could pour the water into this one until it's filled up. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. There we go, five liters of water now in the five liter jug. So what's happened now? What's happened is that in my seven liter jug, I have two liters left over. So using the seven jug and the five jug, I was able to exactly measure out two liters of water. Using just these two, can you measure out exactly one liter of water? That's the puzzle. This is a fun activity. You can explore it by yourself, just playing around and pouring jugs or paper cups of marbles into one another to see if you can find a strategy to measure out exactly one. Maybe you can come up with a reason why it's impossible. Maybe you can never measure out exactly one and you can explain why. Talk to your friends about it. See if you can work together to figure out the best way to do it or if there's more than one way to do it. What about different amounts of water? What if I got a new jug that could have a different amount? What if I did five and eight, five and nine, five and 10? Now, I'm sure you're interested to hear how this puzzle works and how to solve it, but I don't wanna spoil it for you. Please do test it out for yourself and see if you can figure out whether or not it's possible and how one might do it. Pause now. Do you think you have a solution? Do you think you have a method? Let's see one way to do this. I'll tell you straight away, there's not only one way to do this, but I'll show you one way, because it is possible. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take five marbles and fill up the five liter jug. And then we're gonna take that and pour it all into the seven liter jug. Now we have an empty five and a full seven. I'm gonna refill the five liter jug now. So take five more and fill the five liter jug. Now I'm gonna pour this into the seven, but I'm gonna stop once the seven is full. So what's gonna happen is I'll pour, 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 and two liters will go in. So now I have seven liters in the seven liter jug and I have three in the five. Let's empty out the seven now. Get rid of that seven. Three in the five, empty seven. Pour those into the seven now. Three in the seven, empty five. Let's fill the five again. Five into the five. And now let's pour this into the seven, which remember had three liters in it. So how many do I need to pour in to fill the seven? I need to pour four liters in. So I take 
my five, I'll pour out four liters. Whoop, okay, I'm on four liters. That'll go into the seven, which is now full, so I stop. What am I left with in my five jug? Exactly one liter. So I measure out exactly one liter of water just by using seven and five. It is possible. But as I say, can you do it in a different way? Is there more than one way to measure out one liter? If you change the sizes of the jug, is it still possible? Let me tell you a bit about the mathematics behind this puzzle. We saw that it works for five and seven. Why? The important thing is that five and seven have no common factors. In fact, they're both prime numbers. But the key thing is they have no common factors. If I tried it with a different pair of jugs that had a common factor, let's say I did six and eight. These are both even numbers. They have a common factor of two, a common divisor of two. So if I tried it with six and eight, you would find that, well, as I pour one jug into the other, I'm basically adding six or subtracting eight or vice versa. That procedure can only ever give you an even number. So it's never gonna be possible for say six and eight because they have a common factor of two. If they have a common factor, you can never get away from that common factor. If you did nine and 15, they have a common factor of three. You will always get some multiple of three. You can never get down to one. The only way you can ever get one is if they have no common factor. The really surprising thing is that if they have no common factor, not only is that necessary, it is in fact always possible in that case. If they have no common factor, you can always do it. This is a fantastic little theorem in number theory that exploded into a whole area of research. Lots of fun stuff happening there. How did you solve this puzzle? I'm sure you found all sorts of things that I could never dream of. I hope you had fun.